Yeah, plug that into the laptop. So I've got the click share. Share shows up as a disk, and then we run click share. Click on allow. To get an error plugging in your click share, the first thing you want to do is pair it with the base unit. So to pair it with the base unit, take the click share button, plug it into the base unit, and then you should get a notification that it's busy pairing and updating. Well, you got it. Yeah, so the click share is now updating the firmware. Um, got to connect to it via IP address, and you can see on the screen it's also going through the update on the screen as well. So let's go ahead and wait for that. And after the firmware has been updated in the settings, it repairs with the click share that is plugged in to the device right there. And you can see that it's communicating because it's blinking and the click share button is green. Okay, after the firmware update, it's gonna reboot. And then you should see the logo rebooting on the screen as well. Let's take a look at what it looks like on the base unit. It's flashing both the base unit and the button itself. All right, so if uh, if you have multiple buttons, you want to make sure that you plug in each button into the base unit to make sure it's paired and up to date. And it says busy pairing and updating right here. And let's go ahead and check this. It's going to ask me to log in. All right, there we go. And it says it's finished pairing and updating button. If we go over here, we see how everything is connected. We can look at the status of the base unit. Date and time, energy savers, buttons to connect to. Okay, so here's the button. And that's... Uh, Welcome to Oakland Reach 425 conference room. And this should be paired. It's green. Let's take this out. Now we're going to plug it into the laptop here. And when you plug it into the laptop, it'll show up on your desktop here under click share. And you just run the app from the Mac. And this starts blinking. And if we click on this, now it says uh, you would like to record this screen. So this is just extra security features that are built into the Mac itself. And you just have to select click share for Mac. And then you put in your password. Let's quit and reopen. And now if we click on this, it should work. Okay, the ClickShare app is open. And there we go. Now the screen is shared. And that should work for um, either PC or Mac. We're an hour connected to the Mac. And when it is sharing screen, it will show red on the ClickShare button. And that's how you pair your ClickShare with your base unit and get it connected via software. All right, here's uh, a sample of it in the Windows device. So let's go ahead and click on the button here. I think we have to actually run it first. Okay, so I press the button. And you can see it's preparing. And 
there's a device here called CD drive called ClickShare. And let's just click on the ClickShare for Windows. Ready to share. And if you click on the button, and now the PC is connected. So as you can see, it's mirrored on the conference room screen where the base unit is connected. And just like on the Mac, it also turns red when you're sharing. And that's how you get the Windows PC connected to the screen.